The mesh wrapper tools by CADMAN provide a suite of tools for creating an outer shell around 3D geometry, simplifying the model and resulting in an evenly distributed surface mesh around the object. The commands are accessed from both the toolbar and a CADMAN mesh wrapper menu under extensions. Some of the commands are also on the SketchUp context menu. The gridding options for mesh wrapper let you specify the grid spacing size, the mesh projection style, either all around, surround, top and bottom, front and back, or right and left. The mesh is created as a main group containing each projection as a separate subgroup. The shard filter specifies a grid edge multiplier. When an edge's length exceeds this multiplier, its triangle will be left out of the final mesh. The subgroups of the mesh are separate from one another, but their perimeter grid cells can be adjusted to match each other when the stitch edges variable is set to yes. Select the objects to be wrapped with a mesh. Input the grid spacing size. Select a projection style to surround. We will look at the shard factor later and we'll turn stitch edges off. You can see that the perimeter of each mesh stops at an even grid spacing and the perimeters do not touch. Each of the mesh projections is created as a separate group within the mesh wrap. Selecting the chair once more and leaving the stitch edges set to yes, we see that the perimeters of each mesh have been adjusted to meet when possible. The front and top do not meet, however. Looking at the top projection, you see a continuous mesh. Looking at the front projection shows that the depth of the chair back creates a mesh separate from the very front. This mesh duplicates geometry from the top mesh so it can be deleted. Select both the front and top projections and make a group of them. Edit this new group and explode the subgroups to work with them as one mesh. The mesh has a missing seam within it. Add an edge to make each end of the seam a single grid width boxed end. Select the box ends of the seam and the seam zipper tool stitches together the grid seams. If the seam is facing inside out, reverse it with the reverse group faces tool. You can then explode the seam group and it merges into the surrounding mesh. Sometimes face diagonals are spanning the wrong way. The flip diagonals tool flips these edges within the mesh. Let's look at how the shard factor works using the front projection as an example. When set to the default 2.5, any grid cells exceeding 3 inches times 2.5 will be excluded from the mesh. When the shard filter is set to zero, all grid cells are drawn, including long, thin triangles or shards, making the front surface continuous now. A negative number for grid size subdivides the long dimension of the object by that number of grid cells. Here, minus 27 creates 27 grid increments. Sometimes submesh edges overlap. You can fix this with the seam zipper. Make a group of the top and front meshes. Edit the top mesh and erase the last row of cells. Then explode them into one mesh. Box in the ends of the seam. A boxed end is when an edge is completely surrounded by faces on one side of the edge. Select the boxed end edges and pick the seam zipper tool. The seam is healed with a one by grid of cells. Explode the seam to make it merge within the surrounding mesh. Sometimes stitched mesh cells bend backwards. Edit into the appropriate mesh and erase the offenders. Edit into the opposing mesh. The beauty of a meshed surface is that all squares or quads are triangulated, so each vertex can be moved without hurting the rest of the mesh. Fix each cell by moving each vertex one at a time. Toggling X-ray mode can help the inference engine snap to endpoints quickly. You can add triangles to one mesh based upon endpoints of another mesh, or stretch a mesh cell to another to meet precisely. 
Mesh Wrapper makes a quad face mesh compatible with other quad face tools. To turn a pair of triangles into a quad face, select the diagonals and use the Diagonals to Quads tool. Wrapping this chair with a mesh reduced the polygon count from 10,000 down to 4,500. Comparing the chairs with hidden geometry on shows the many edges in the source CAD geometry. X-ray mode shows there is also geometry hidden within the chair. Using softened smooth edges turns the grid into a continuous smooth surface, which is not always completely satisfactory. To give the continuous surface some interior definition, select the softened edges you want to sharpen and use the Sharpen Soft Edges tool. This leaves a creased edge within the smooth surface. The cushion can now be selected apart from the chair. Sharpening soft edges creates subsurfaces within a smooth surface for painting or selecting. You can then select the perimeter of a subsurface and unhide the edges to give them a hard edge. The Mesh Wrapper tool lets you take high poly CAD geometry and generate high quality low polygon representations of your products. A Mesh Wrapper model gets great results from poly decimation programs like Mesh Labs lowering the polygon count even further without sacrificing visual quality.